Hey my tech fellows welcome back to the everyday talk where we dive into the latest and greatest of technology with an experience tailored made for you i'm your host rahim and today we are tackling a question that's been on everyone's mind looking to buy an apple laptop in 2024 should you buy the macbook pro m1 or m2 13 inches model in 2024 whether you are a student a professional or a tech enthusiast we are breaking it all down for you so grab your coffee sit back and let's get into it but before starting there's a little request that kindly subscribe to the channel because most of you watching are not subscribed and that subscription would be highly you can say motivational for us so let's kick things off with design and build quality both the macbook pro m1 and m2 13 inches models share that sleek iconic aluminum chassis that apple is known for the look and feel are virtually identical making both models equally portable and durable the m1 and m2 are both 3 pounds meaning you get the same lightweight weight and portable design perfect for taking to school to work or your favorite coffee shop while working but are these differences under the hood enough to justify upgrading from an M1 MacBook Pro or not let's dive a little bit deeper so all right here's where the things started to get a little bit more interesting the performance the M1 chip introduced in late 2020 revolutionized the MacBook Pro line with its impressive power efficiency and performance the 8 core CPU and 8 core GPU handles everyday tasks and even more demanding applications like video editing and software development applications with ease but enter the M2 chip into the scene and it takes things up a notch with a 8 core CPU and a 10 core GPU this time the M2 offers around 18% faster CPU performance and 35% faster GPU performance compared to the M1 this means smoother multitasking and better performance for graphic intensive tasks like gaming and 3D rendering so if you are a power user the M2's enhancements are something to consider but keep in mind nothing exceptionally groundbreaking as compared to M1 next let's talk about battery life a crucial factor for anyone on the go the MacBook Pro M1 sets a high bar with up to 20 hours of battery life thanks to the efficiency of M1 chip this was something never seen in such powerful laptop before the M2 model maintains this impressive battery performance still offering up to 20 hours of usage so whether you are working on projects attending classes or just browsing the web both models will get you through the day without needing to hunt for a charger no clear winner here it's a tie but from my experience i must add that even working on some extensive video editing projects and university assignments these trusty devices have lasted for almost two days and even more sometimes with just a single charge so next moving on to the display and audio both the m1 and m2 models sport a 13.3 inches retina display with true tone technology p3 white color gamut and up to 500 nits of brightness this means vibrant colors and sharp images perfect for content creators and media consumers alike audio wise both laptops comes equipped with high quality stereo speakers and a 3 mic array making them great for media consumption and video calls again no major differences here both models excel in this area almost the same goes for ports and connectivity both the M1 and M2 MacBook Pro 13 inches models features Thunderbolt 3 or USB 4 ports and a 3.5 mm headphone jack while the port selection hasn't changed the M2 benefits from faster wireless connectivity with Wi-Fi 6E providing better performance in areas with many connected devices so if you are in a tech heavy environment this could be a slightly or a slight edge for the users of M2 so here let's not forget the software and ecosystem integration both the M1 and M2 models runs Mac OS Ventura and take full advantage of Apple ecosystem allowing seamless integration with other Apple devices you get features like universal control which lets you use a single key board and mouse across your mac and ipads and facetime con- continuity which makes transition between devices a breeze these experiences here is practically identical on both machines ensuring a smooth and connected workflow regardless of which model you choose or choose to go with finally let's talk dollars and cents the macbook pro m1 starts at around 1299 dollars while the m2 version starts slightly higher at 1399 that 100 dollar difference makes a boost in performance better graphics and and faster connectivity and you can find both of these devices nowadays on much discounted prices because they are discontinued but is it worth it if you are on a tight budget the M1 still offers incredible value and performance that can handle most tasks thrown at it however if you can stretch your budget a bit the M2's enhancements
enhancements might be worth the extra investment for future proofing your device to give you a more practical perspective i must say we reached out to some users who have experienced both models and a lot of interviews with the real time users are coming soon so just subscribe to the channel so these users praise the m1 for its excellent performance and battery life highlighting that it's still a beast of a machine in 2024 on the other hand users who upgraded to m2 appreciated the extra performance boost especially for more demanding applications like video editing and gaming real world uses seem to echo on either earlier points both machines are fantastic but the m2 edges out if you need that extra power so who should buy the macbook pro m1 and who should opt for the m2 13 inch model in 2024 if you are a student a casual user or someone who doesn't push their laptop to the extremes the m1 is a phenomenal choice that will serve you well but if you are a professional a content creator or someone who needs that extra bit of performance and future proofing the m2 is the way to go but here i would like to add that if you are already an m1 user there is no need to upgrade to m2 macbook pro as the differences would be so little significant that you won't even notice what do you think are you leaning towards the m1 or the m2 calling your name drop your thoughts and questions in the comments below if you found this video helpful give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights and reviews hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to never miss out on our tech talks thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one keep exploring and stay curious